But Des, yeah, so we are definitely crossing our fingers to try to get some sort of moisture out of this monsoon this year. Hey, Des. Yeah, we want some bit of moisture. I mean, it's so hot. It's so dry here. We need a little bit of something. Um, and right now we're with Chris Snow. You are the deputy chief of the fire Tempe department. Am Tempe, I getting Tempe, Tempe fire, fire department? Rescue, yes. <laughs> okay. And talking about monsoon season, getting us prepared. And um, so what do folks need to keep in mind as we head into monsoon season, which starts tomorrow? Absolutely. Just just stay safe. Um, so we use some common sense with a lot of things that go on when it comes to the monsoons coming in, which bring dust storms. As these dust storms come into the valley, if you do not need to drive in them, let's not drive in them. If you do get caught in something with zero visibility, if you're able to pull off to the side of the road, turn your vehicle off, do not step on your brake lights and just wait that storm out. Um, other things just around your home, if you can keep your trees trimmed so that you don't get the heavy winds that knock branches off into your roof and create flooding um, internally. Yeah, some more tips for new homeowners and maybe people who are new to Arizona. Hi, I'm both. <laughs> what tips do you have for us? It's really just keeping everything cleaned up around your house and know that with the winds, things will get blown around in your backyard. Trees will come down. If you don't have to have uh, chairs all over the place, I'd, I'd uh, secure those when you know a storm is coming. Okay, and talk about where we are this morning and the sand behind us, what's going on, and how is this available to folks, and what time they can come and get sand if they need it. Okay, we're at uh, Benedict Sports Complex. Mm -hmm. It's on Guadalupe and, and uh, Kyrene, and you can come get this sand at any time. From now until mid-September, we'll have the sandbags available as well as the sand. You can come morning, day, or night. Uh, I, I recommend you come in the evening or early morning because it's going to be really hot. Um, ju just remember to bring a shovel. Yes, bring the shovel. Shovel's not provided, you guys. Keep that in mind. And let's pull in uh, Richard Adkins. Uh, he's an urban forester. So, Richard, you also have some tips um, for us as well as we head into monsoon season, hoping to get some precipitation out of this. It'd be nice to get some, but we do have the winds, strong winds that always come with that. So you want to kind of get your trees prepared. One, you want to look for any like dead branches or maybe some overextended heavy branches like over your roof or over where you park your car. And maybe you want to have those um, pruned or removed. But an important point to remember is not to over prune the tree. I mean, trees have a natural dampening effect that help to reduce and dissipate the wind energy. And so if you over prune them so the wind can supposedly blow through, that can actually cause more damage than what you're trying to remove. Really? So if we don't know what we're doing, we don't know how to prune or trim, uh, what is our best route of execution here? Um, call a professional arborist. There are many companies and independent professional arborists throughout the valley, and they can assess your trees for maybe they don't need any pruning, or maybe where I said there's a heavy branch or a dead broken branch you might want to look at, but they can assess that for you and make the call. Okay. Anything else we need to keep in mind? Um, if trees do blow down or branches do break, I mean, we do have those winds that come, and if they're at 70 miles an hour plus, that just exceeds the structural strength of the wood. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do fall. They might be on power lines. Mm -hmm. So you want to be very careful about that until your power company makes sure that the power is off before you go in there and try to clean that up. So call a professional for the cleanup as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, so, again, here at the Benedict Sports Complex in Tempe, go ahead. Don't forget a shovel, you guys. We have the sand. They have some bags here for you. You can come get it really uh, whenever is most convenient for you if you need them. And uh, just stay prepared for this monsoon season. We'll send it back to you guys. People who are in those flooding areas tend yeah. to know that they're in those. There are certain areas, and we know right. them because yeah. you know whenever it rains really hard, we, we go out there and get and we that. Come out and see you. Those the trees were a great tip because most of our desert trees, especially those mesquites, mm -hmm. they're they're really bushes yeah. when you see them out. They are, and we trim them out into in trees, the right? So mm -hmm. they've got very shallow root systems, and they they blow over pretty easily. So if you've got a real crooked mesquite going, no good. We'll get it checked out for sure.